Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a makeup haul and I got quite a bit of makeup. Most of it is more high-end. Usually I always get drugs for makeup because I'll be cheap like that. Like I don't have enough money to just blow on makeup because I have so much makeup already. I do have a good mixture in my collection already of high-end and drugstore. But I haven't really tried out any of the new high-end stuff that's been on the market lately. I, I just have some old favorites. So I figured it's time to kind of update my high-end makeup collection so here are a few things that I've been just like it's been catching my eye on you know YouTube videos and stuff and I just decided to bite the bullet and purchase them I did get 20% off for I, I ordered from Sephora so I got 20% off because um, I had a coupon so yeah I went crazy and I just got a bunch of stuff so I'm gonna show you guys what I got I'm also going to review each item and tell you what I think about it some of it is worth the money and some of it is just not so uh, I'll just let you know what's up with it and let you know if you should invest your money in it too so if you guys want to see what I got then please keep watching so I have been seeing the Kat Von D contour palette everywhere and I've been wanting to try it forever. So in this palette it comes with three contour shades and three, I held up two fingers, three highlight shades. The highlight shades are not like shimmery highlights, they're matte highlights to highlight underneath your eyes. So you can do, you know, a powder highlight if you don't have the time to really, you know, contour that face out in the morning. So they are more, pe these two are peach tones, this one's more of a yellow tone, and then up here are more cool tone browns. I think they did a really good job with the color choices. I like the um, selection that they picked. I believe I got either the medium one or the dark one, I'm not really sure. But I do really like it. The product is very buttery and creamy. Sometimes I notice, I don't know if it's just me doing something or what, but sometimes I notice that the contour can be a little bit patchy. I have really light skin, so I'm assuming that this is super dark for my skin tone, but um, I still expected a little bit more blendability, but it is very buttery. Like, most people who are normal will probably get a good blend out of this. Um, I'm not saying that it's patchy, but sometimes, not all the time, just every now and again, it gets a little patchy on me, but other than that, it's an awesome palette, and I think it's worth the money. Um, this is probably my favorite one compared to the next one that I'm about to show you, because I got two contour palettes, so let me just bring that one out. It's already dirty. It's like, the minute that I put something in my makeup collection, it like becomes one, and it just gets filthy somehow. I don't know how that happened, but... But anyways, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. I obviously have heard so much about this palette, um, you know, everywhere. And I'm a little late to the party, but um, one thing that's disappointing is that it doesn't have a mirror. And the other thing that's disappointing is the palette. I don't think that it's bad, but I don't think it's worth the hype. I mean, it's just... Once again, you have three contour shades and three highlight shades. This one is supposed to be a shimmery highlight, but it doesn't really have much of a glow to it, so I never really use this one. Um, you know, it's not its not a bad product. It does do its job, and it works great. I, it's not patchy, it's really blendable, but it's, it's not, to me, worth the hype. Like, I don't know why everybody, when it first came out, was obsessing over it. It's just okay. But I really do like the Kat Von D contour palette. I think that one is my favorite over the Anastasia, so if you're going to pick between the two, Go with the Kat Von D. Alright, next up I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray Duo. And it's basically the same product right here. I, I don't know why I got two. I just, you know, I just did it. So, once again, filthy already. I don't know how... <laughs> I have makeup all over it already, but we're just going to go with it. So this is what the setting spray looks like outside of the box. And it just comes in a little spray like this. And oh, I didn't even put any on today. Let me just spritz it. Spritz it. Um, oh, oh. I do really like this product. I notice that when like I do my makeup, sometimes it can look a little cakey afterwards. So if I'm feeling cakey or just powdery, I spray this bad boy over my makeup and it just kind of blends everything together and it does make everything hold up longer. So I'll do about two spritz and we be done. So I think that it is a really nice product and I will be repurchasing this one in the future. I notice that it does make my makeup last a little bit longer when I do use it. Next up I got two Urban Decay concealers and I got one in Fair and I got one in Light. So the Fair one I believe is the lightest shade out of the whole collection and the Light shade is the, I think the next one down. So the Light one does have a little bit more of a peach tone to it so it's a little bit more for color correction and this one is more for highlighting. So I do like them. They're great but honestly I think you could go with the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I do find that I keep retreating back to this one over these two just because I feel like it's a little bit more full coverage almost and I feel like for some reason 
I don't know what it is, but my eyes can look a little creasy when I use these concealers. And I'm not saying that I don't like them, because I do use these. They're really nice, and they do look good after you really blend them out. But sometimes they just get a little cakey underneath my eyes, I found. Does that happen with any of you guys out there? Like, have you noticed that these get a little cakey on you? Or am I just doing it wrong? I use a beauty blender, I pat that guy out, and then set it. And it just looks a little cakey to me. So I don't know what's going on with that. Like, I heard really amazing things about these concealers. Um, but you know, I don't think they're anything super duper special that you really need to spend your money on. I think you can get away with the Maybelline Fit Me and be just fine. Alright, next up I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, and I really do like this. It's, it's nice, it's really full coverage, and it is a little thick, but if you blend it out with the Beauty Blender, it just looks beautiful on the skin, so I will really, uh, so I will be repurchasing this. I got it in 3.5, so it has a little bit of yellow undertone. It's a little light for my skin tone, but you know what? That's okay, because I make it work with concealer, and I like highlight as necessary and contour as necessary. So um, I make it work, but it is a really great foundation. So another foundation that I absolutely love is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. And this one is my favorite out of my whole collection so far. It's really natural. Um, it's, it's very full coverage, and once again, it's a little light for my skin tone, but what can you do? I'm just going to... Do a little extra bronzer when I use it. This is in light 45 warm and um, I think this is once again like I said my favorite foundation because it's full coverage, it's lightweight and it looks really natural on the skin. So I do think that spending the extra few bucks on this guy right here is worth it because it is an awesome foundation. Alright next up I got the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I've been trying to get my hands on this forever but Sephora um, where I'm from has been out of it every single time I go in there so finally ordered it came in and I do really like it it's very lightweight um, you do have to put a little bit more on I've been using the Ben Nye setting powder and it is a little bit more thick it's not as finely milled so I find that that just like one swipe of that and it's good I feel like I have to build this up a little bit more but it does do its job and doesn't make my under my under eyes look cakey or anything it's just very natural looking overall I do really like my products but you know, there are a few of them that I could do without that I don't think I had to spend the extra money on, but overall I will be using all of them and I think they are all pretty good products. So anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these type of videos, let me know by thumbs upping this video and comment in the bottom bar letting me know like what your favorite products are in general. It can be drugstore, high end. What do you think that I need to try because I'm always on the prowl and I'm always looking for new stuff. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe to it and I will talk to you next time. Bye.